Hey guys, I'm happy that you are here. My name is Betchoy and I am your plant tita from Mindanao. Tara at samahan niyo ako sa aking plant journey. To those who are new to this channel, especially sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, kindly click on our subscribe button and click on the bell notification as well para maging updated kayo sa ating mga latest uploads. And also, please follow me on our other social media platforms so that's aside from our YouTube, we do have a Facebook page and our page is Betchoy Vlog and we also have an Instagram or IG and our ID is Betchoy underscore vlog and let's talk about plants. And for our episode today guys, I will be sharing with you my homemade or my DIY na insecticide slash pesticide. So, this will be another gardening hack na may share natin sa inyo. And mind you guys ha, yung mga ingredients na gagamitin natin today are very simple and you can just find them in our kitchen. So, alam ko problema talaga sa ating lahat ng mga plantitos and plantitas, yung mga iba't ibang mga insekto and mga pest na nag i ating mga plants. I know this problem isn't my problem. Alam ko tayong lahat talaga nagkakaroon ng ganitong problema. And it's like a daily challenge for us to maintain na wala dapat pest yung ating mga halaman. And every day in our garden, as much as possible talaga, every morning, I try to inspect all of my plants. Dapat wala talaga mga pest. So kung meron tayong makita mga traces of some bugs or may mga iba't ibang insects, even yung mga ants or yung mga langgam na i-infest, automatically, Naa-alarm na ako niya na dapat talaga mag-intervene tayo kasi baka yun yung ikakasira ng ating mga plan. So I'm sure makaka-relate talaga tayong lahat nito sa ating episode today. And it's really very important for us to be very proactive in terms of like protecting yung ating mga plants sa mga insects and sa mga pests. And yun nga, sabi nga ng mga doktor, prevention is better than cure. So why wait na mangyari yung mga di magagandang events? Dapat Early on pa lang, dapat na-prevent na natin sila as much as possible. And a little bit of background lang guys, kung paano ko natutunan itong ating DIY or homemade natin na insecticide slash pesticide. On regular cases, on regular basis, yung ginagamit ko talaga is yung ating neem oil extract and I prepare my mixture even before pa. But then right now, I'm using this ready to use na, na neem oil extract and just shake it and use it on a weekly day basis. So there was one time na naubusan ako at hindi na ako, hindi pa ako nakapag-order ng refilled. So alam naman natin guys, nakapag-order tayo sa mga online shops, uh, marketplace, yung sa mga Lazada and even sa Shopee. It would take some time before natin na makuha yung mga products natin. And in our case dito, talagang abot pa ng linggo. So I had no other choice that time kasi I would not want my plans to sacrifice, na masacrifice natin yung kanilang safety. So immediately, I researched on my part, and then I came across this homemade or DIY natin insecticide slash pesticide, and it does make sense. So, at that point, uh, I tried to make it yung ating homemade or yung ating DIY, and I applied it sa ating mga plants, and it turned out to be okay naman. So, I can still remember that during that time, yung problema katulaga was yung mga ants. So, when I used this one, naging effective talaga siya. So, at this point, nagiging substitute ko na ito or parang backup plan ko. If, if ever na maubusan ako na aking neem oil extra. So ngayon, pag-uusapan na natin yung mga iba't ibang mga ingredients for our homemade or yung ating DIY na insecticide slash pesticide. Ito, as I've mentioned earlier, very common na talaga yung mga ingredients natin kasi makikita lang natin sa ating kitchen. Unang-una ay ang ating vinegar or yung ating sukang puti. So this is the usual lang na vinegar na mabibili natin sa mga supermarkets, even sa mga sari-sari store. So, no particular brand, you can use any brand. Um, I think you can also use yung some other vinegars na um, color white also or yung mga clear, pwedeng pwede natin gamitin yon. Yung pinaka, um, yung pinaka after kasi natin dito is yung ating acetic acid na content of our vinegar. So this one, usually yung mga vinegar natin sa mga supermarkets na sa mga 5% acetic acid yung kanyang content by volume. So ito naman, for this specific brand, this is 4.5% percent yung kanyang acidity so it's okay it's still uh, usable i mean pwede siya natin gamitin for our mixture today and yung ating second ingredient naman another one na makikita lang kaagad natin sa ating kitchen which is our dishwashing liquid so i'm sure 
familiar na familiar kayo nito guys. Again, no specific brand. You can use any other brands, yung mga famous or yung kung may mga favorite na kayo ng mga brands which you are using sa inyong mga households. Then, you can use them also. Same with our vinegar na kahit anong brand po pwede natin gamitin. Itong dalawa to yung ating main component or main ingredients natin at yung pangatlo naman na gagamitin natin is yung water. So, plain water lang. You can use tap water. Pwede din gumamit ng distilled water kung may budget tayo. Okay lang. But you can just use tap water just as long as hindi siya masyado chlorinated or hindi heavy yung chlorine content ng ating tubig. Or if ever naman sa mga areas na malakas or I mean concentrated or mataas yung chlorine content, what you can do is pwede naman natin siyang ipasettle muna for a few days para Medyo hindi naman concentrated yung chlorine dun sa ating tubig. So, ito guys ha. I've already mentioned natin kung ano yung mga iba't ibang mga substitutes na natin na pwede gamitin. So, yung detergent, any brand will do. Uh, just as long as yung gamit nating dishwashing liquid, yun yung gagamitin natin. For the vinegar naman, if you may ask kung pwede ba yung mga native suka or yung suka galing sa, yung sa mga fermentation or yung mga what we call here yung mga tuba, Di yan po pwede kasi that's actually uh, made from natural fermentation. So more or less, meron talaga mga live microorganisms na present dyan. So we would not want it to be present sa ating, mga, sa ating homemade or sa ating DIY na pesticide. So ito, this is uh, produced sa mga factories, uh, manufactured sa mga factories. So ito, uh, para siyang chemical based talaga. So yung content lang talaga nito is yung ating vinegar or yung acetic acid and the water. So pure water, I mean pure vinegar lang talaga ito. So ito guys, ha, hindi lang naman tayo basta-basta lang mag-mix ng mga iba't ibang ingredients kasi for sure, hindi yan po pwedeng gawin natin na kung ano-ano lang yung ipag-mix natin like yung mga bleach, mix natin with something because that can really cause a problem sa ating mga plants. So before we do our um, DIY or homemade insecticide and pesticide, let us first discuss kung ano ba yung mga characteristics or properties of these components or ingredients natin. Bakit sila good na gamitin as our repellent for insect or ating pest na control. So first is yung ating vinegar. So this is made, I mean this has 4.5 na acetic acid na content. So by the name itself, acetic acid, so acidic talaga yung ating vinegar and we can all attest to that. So ito guys, ha, yung kanyang acidity, it will actually uh, be the reason kung bakit nagiging insect repellent ito kasi most of the insects talaga ayaw na ayaw nila yung acidic na environment. So yan yung maibibigay na characteristic ng ating vinegar. And maybe you would ask, hindi ba yan makakadamage sa ating mga plants? The answer to that is, of course, makakadamage talaga yung ating suka kapag itong purong suka yung ididilig natin sa ating mga plants. Kasi, again, this is very acidic, so very dangerous talaga ito sa plants. So, that is the reason why ididilute natin ito together with our dishwashing liquid dito sa ating 1 liter of water. So, we'll just be using a small amount of our vinegar, yun yung idadagdag natin dun sa ating 1 liter na solution. Now, the second component naman for our DIY or homemade natin na pesticide insect repellent is our dishwashing liquid. So, ano naman yung maibibigay ng ating dishwashing liquid dito sa ating table? So, yung dishwashing liquid, didilute din natin ito in small concentration lang din dito sa ating 1 liter of water. So, yung kanyang property naman is that once na ma-intake ito or ma ma-digest ng ating mga insects ng ating mga insects talaga ng mga insects nagkakakos ito ng problem sa kanilang metabolism and in their body so mangyayari sa masisira or mamamatay yung mga insects na nag-aatake sa ating mga plants so yan yung kanyang insecticide or yung kanyang insect repellent na property so now we are all set to prepare our homemade na insecticide and our pesticide so we already have prepared here one liter of water dito sa ating spray bottle and dito na rin natin imimix yung ating solution so first na idadagdag natin ay ang ating vinegar so ito um, I will just be adding here yung isang cup lang nito or pwede din gamitin natin isang tablespoon ng vinegar so yun lang yung ating concentration or yung amount lang ng vinegar na i-add natin so I'll just measure here um, again, okay lang na gumamit ng kutsara. So, dadagdag lang natin ito diretso dito sa ating water bottle or sa ating spray bottle. And I'll be mixing it first para more or less ma parang madelute na natin yung vinegar doon sa loob ng ating water bottle. So, again guys, ha, yung 
characteristic ng ating vinegar, why it's a very good insect repellent is yung kanyang acidity. So, most microorganisms talaga, I mean most insects talaga and some other pests would not prefer to be in an acidic environment. So, yan yung reason kung bakit magiging magandang insect repellent ng ating vinegar. So, nakapag-initial mixing na tayo dito and kind of smells like ano na, suka na talaga. Makakulang na lang balot. So, so ito, for our dishwashing liquid naman, we'll just be adding here 5 drops. And, ito medyo malayo pa yung kanyang babiyahiin. So, actually, I find this one a very budget-friendly talaga na insecticide, pesticide. Um, alam ko naman, as much as possible, we're really trying to find ways na makatipid tayo sa ating mga gagamitin. Pero, <laughs> kung makatipid sa mga pesticide and insecticides grabe pero makabili ng mga plants makapagmine sa live selling grabe din so ano na para paraan lang talaga kung paano natin ma-survive yung ating pagmamahal sa ating mga plants so ito is actually very good then um, no need for you to shell out much amount of cash kasi this is very affordable lang talaga you can just find this sa ating mga kusina and it's proven effective no question about that. Even sa mga, actually yung paggamit din ng suka, I'm already familiar with this one before. Um, kahit sa loob ng mga bahay natin, you just mix yung, ano na, pwede din itong gamitin, aside sa mga plants, pwede din natin gamitin ito sa loob ng ating bahay. So if ever may mga areas tayo sa loob ng bahay natin na inaatake ng mga langgam or some other insects, you can also use this one. Ito na yung ating solution. It's already well mixed. So okay na okay na ito. And it's already ready to use. And Rule number one pala in using our insecticides and our pesticides and even our fungicides. Rule number one talaga is dapat gagamitin natin sila during either afternoon or early in the morning kung saan wala pa masyadong sikat yung araw. But the best talagang i-apply yung ating mga insecticides and pesticides in the afternoon kung, kung kailan papalubog na yung araw kasi sigurado tayo na hindi mainit yung environment. Kasi there's a chance kasi na magkakakos ito ng burning dun sa ating mga dahon kapag naaarawan sila ng broad daylight. So, yun yung dapat nating i-take note. So, also, one thing that we should be taking note of is the weather itself. So, kung feel natin na uulan or medyo gloomy or cloudy yung environment in the afternoon, I suggest na hindi na natin i-apply yung ating homemade pesticide insecticide kasi mawawash off lang yan ng ulan. So, it's also one thing that we should be considering. And in terms of frequency naman, this is actually good na apply natin at least once a week lang. And also, depende na rin sa severity ng pest or yung insect attack dun sa ating mga plants. And if you would want to ask as well, after spraying yung ating insecticide slash pesticide, do we need or kailangan ba natin i-wash off or hugasan yung ating mga plants? And the answer to that is dapat no na kasi kung yun yung mangyayari, mawawash off na rin yung ating insecticide and pesticide at wa magiging walang silbi na yung pag-spray natin doon sa ating mga plants. So ito guys ha, let's talk about first kung ano ba yung mga target insects and pests ng ating pesticide and insecticide. So ito, based on my experience, it's really good against sa ants or yung mga langgam, the red ones especially, and even the black na mga ants, this is also very good. So, based on my experience, kapag nakikita ako ng mga plants na inaatake ng mga ants, I use this one kapag wala na akong available na neem oil extract. So, another thing that this is good against at is yung mga aphids. So, ano ba yung mga aphids? Yung mostly white aphids yung andito sa atin. Eh. So, yan yung parang mga marami din sila, malilit na mga insects, aphids, as we call it, na nagsasak yun sa ating mga plants para dun sila mag-feed or kukuha ng mga nutrients. This one, this is also good against mga mites, especially yung mga spider mites. And I'm sure familiar talaga kayo guys kung ano yung mga spider mites. They are also a group of insects din na grabe na umatake sa mga plants natin. And they also suck nutrients from our plants. So it's the reason why na dapat wala talaga sila sa ating mga plants. And again, this is also good for mga mealybugs or yung mga malit na mga bugs na may parang may mga spikes. Most of the time, ang nakikita ko dito mga color white na mga mealybugs. And ma-identify natin sila. They do not come as many as dun sa mga mealybugs or yung sa mga aphids. But grabe din sila umataki sa mga plants. So ito, this is also good against dun sa mga mealybugs. So baka magtatanong kayo guys, paano ba yung mga caterpillar, yung mga higad? I think this is also a good uh, repellent for other insects so that would include yung mga butterflies. So maybe 
Um, hindi lang ako talaga 100% sure kasi I, I haven't seen na talagang parang nadideactivate yung mga caterpillars kapag nasprayhan natin nito ng ating insecticide and pesticide. But perhaps it might be it might be effective also kasi tinataboy niya yung mga butterflies o kapag walang butterflies, wala rin mamumugad or walang maglilay ng mga eggs. Pag walang mga itlog, then that means wala rin mga caterpillars na mahahatch. So guys, it's now time for us to apply yung ating DIY or homemade insecticide slash pesticide. So again, the best time of the day na i-apply natin ito is in the afternoon. So pwede mga around 4pm or 5pm kung saan pa down na or pa sunset na at least hindi na talaga mainit yung panahon. So again, yung frequency lang ng pag-apply natin ito, it depends on the severity. So kung grabe talaga yung insect na attack sa ating mga plants, you can go to as much as mga twice a week. But ideally talaga once a week yung ating paggamit nito sa ating mga plants. And yung pinakaunang sprayhan natin ngayon ay ang ating Mexicanum na propagation. Because I can see here na merong mga insects, although hindi naman sila talaga marami, pero may mga ants dito na uh, parang nag infest dito sa ating Mexicanum. The good thing lang is that yung ating Mexicanum naman, this is a very sturdy and very matigas talaga na plant. So, we just have to spray on the leaves dito sa itaas. Konting spray lang, isang spray lang will do. Hindi pa pala na ano natin yung spray natin yan. So ayan, spray natin dyan. And also sa under leaf din na portion. And at the same time, pwede din tayo mag-spray din dito sa ating medium. So isang spray lang din yung gagawin natin dito. So ito guys ha, if you will ask me, pwede ba itong idilig sa ating mga halaman? And the answer to that is of course no. Hindi ito pwedeng pandilig sa ating mga halaman. Yung main purpose lang talaga nito is insect repellent and pest control sa ating mga halaman. So ito din, classic example din ng other insect na infestation sa ating mga plants. Ito, this is a millibug or yung mga puti-puting mga insects na umaatake dito sa ating burly marks na green. So ito, sprayhan lang natin, one spray lang dito and then we will see and check kung ano ba yung uh, effect nito doon sa ating mga millibugs. So ito guys, kitang kita kagad na kahit isang spray pa lang yung na-apply natin, immediately hindi na gumalaw yung mga millibugs. So this is really an effective na pest control. And if ever guys, na parang diskumpiado kayo or parang hindi kayo sure kung po pwede ba or effective ba yung ating insecticide or kung safe ba ito sa ating mga plants, yung one thing na ma-advise ko sa inyo is that try to use it in one plant muna and then one leaf lang muna. And try to observe the plant in the coming days, siguro a day or two or maybe perhaps three days and try to check and observe if wala bang mga effects dun sa ating plants and if ever wala naman, that, that means to say safe na safe ito para sa ating mga plants. So that would be it guys. That would be our episode today sharing to you our homemade or DIY na insect repellent and pesticide. And I hope na meron kayong natutunan sa ating episode today. And before we end our video, let us do our shoutouts. Shoutout kay Joanna Banana. Shoutout na rin kay Christian Padla. Shoutout also kay Lorena Vargas. Shoutout na rin kay Zenny Almalves. Shoutout kay Abdul Naim Singh. Hi and hello to Sir Ed Magracia. Shout out also to Mylene Oltiveros. Shout out then kay Ma'am Nancy Espada. Shout out kay Gerald John Barcelon. And shout out kay Divina Lubrica. So guys, if you happen to like our videos, please don't forget to click on the like button, share it to your families, to your friends, and to your loved ones. And if bago ka pa lang sa ating channel, please do not forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell notification as well para maging updated kayo sa ating mga latest uploads. Once again, this is Betchoy, your plantito from Mindanao. Happy planting!